Well, look at what the cat dragged in. Quite literally. This is an old friend of the channel's. We built this a few years ago in 2022, and I sold it to a neighbor. We knew we were on borrowed time with the lead acid batteries that are in here. So we'll take a look at these and see what year they're from. Here's one that's from 21, but we have some Trojans in here that I'm pretty sure are a lot older. Anyway, my neighbor asked me for a recommendation on a battery. Again, we were on borrowed time here. So I did recommend a Vatcher battery for her. This is completely unsponsored video. We purchased this battery and we're gonna go ahead, unbox it, stick it in this golf cart. It has an on off switch, which I think is super key for lead acid battery or uh, lithium batteries. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and put in here. Let's get started. So when doing one of these swaps, there's tons of videos out there. All you really need to worry about is the main positive, main negative, right? So we've got our main negative here on this side and main positive is up over there. Uh, these Trojans I saw, there's a little date code on them. They're from 2016. So they died out on us. We're done here. So I'm looking here at the floor. I don't think this is going to fit in there without some, tor some sort of modification. So we'll probably have to do something in here to set it here in the middle and we'll make some sort of charger mount as well so it's not just going to be a quick one on this as opposed to like the club car where it was just cut out a little bit of plastic and drop it in i think this might get a little bit more involved but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so i'm just going to start by plucking all those batteries out you can bring these to like an auto parts store or something like that to recycle uh, some places might even give you a core on them a couple bucks each battery but but for now, we're just going to get them out of here and uh, then we'll open up this here box and see what's in there. Get some measurements off the bottom of the battery, figure out what's going to happen. This is completely unsponsored again, as I said. Uh, but what we got here is the 105 amp hour 48 volt um, kit from them. So I believe these are updated since some of them in the past. That I've seen online. I haven't seen too many of these, too many videos, I mean, with the updated situation or kid or whatever you want to call it. Again, uh, just felt like this is the one that seems to be very popular online as far as Amazon batteries go. It's not overly expensive and it's not, you know, the three batteries I've gotten from Amazon, two of them aren't even listed anymore already. So the Mosasar one that's in Ron Burgundy out there. There is no more Mosasar on Amazon. And then I don't even know. Laminary sent me that 48 volt, 105 amp hour one over here in the rat cart. And I haven't even seen that online recently. So this one seems to be the one that has more longevity online. So that's the packaging. Set this aside. Those are out. And the tray in here is pretty good, surface rust. So I think I'll probably drag it out back and scuff it and maybe spray it a little bit before we drop this battery in. Old ones are out. These are newer cables that I had in my cart at one point. And when I went to lithium, I had these available, so I had stuck them in this cart. So we'll save on those and get rid of those guys. I'm pleasantly surprised. So I've got about 12 and three quarters to work with. Well, let's go on the inside. All right, 12 and a half width wise. Look at that. Sweet. I thought I was gonna have to like cut one of these walls out to get it to go this way, but we're gonna go right in on this Yamaha G series something. I'll look up what year this thing is. But yeah, let's we'll clean it up and drop it in okay there's our wiring for the lcd monitor oh there's a whole bunch of extra stuff in there too let's see here all 
Okay, so that's familiar. Same setup as what I had in the rat cart and the one that came over here. Hardware with the monitor. Battery tie down hardware. We'll take a look at the actual instructions here in a sec. But there's, these are the other two boxes. Extension cord for charger. Oops. All right, this goes into battery. And then the charger is pretty neat looking, black, powder coated. Okay, so this will be here to battery. We'll mount this somewhere in the cart, and then here's your extension that'll go into this where this place. Ooh, let's see if it'll go between betwixt. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna have to do anything. It'll mount right in there. All right, that's exciting. I thought I was gonna have to do metal fab over here, but I guess not. Well, I'm using some leftover angle. Just cut those to 12 and a quarter. I had this nice board. That is the same exact shape as the bottom of that battery. I did cut it a little bit. So that's how the battery will fit in there. And I just got to zoop those in. And then we'll have a good base. I probably could have set the battery in there and run a ratchet strap around it, but I didn't want to do that. All right, so that's after welding those tabs in. This is all solid now in here. And uh, I drilled some holes, and I'm going to set that battery in, and then I'll self-tap probably the charger in there. I did order a different plug. That'll be here tomorrow. All right, she's in there. We've got the charger mounted here. i got to just finish this up real quick because we have that last piece left to do. But it's in there. The car runs again. Let me jump around the other side. Here we are. This is going out to the display on the dashboard. Just got that tied up there, the excess. We're down to just the positive and negatives for the voltage reducer, the charger, and then the main cart. There was four wires here before. Two of them were for the little battery monitor, which I covered up. This was here a minute ago. One of these guys. So that's covered. Um, and then my monitor is over there, so we'll take a look at that, but it's coming coming out. I did charge it. And there's that. So it does have very similar couple of pages and so forth. There's all your cells. Some cycles. So that's the monitor. So I have the old charger here. I mean, it's garbage. We're never going to go back to it. Here is that plug that I ordered yesterday, and it's here today. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and then I just cut one of these out because the hole that we have is not too small. But this is some of the leftover hardware. They do break out per bag. What's for what? And like I said, we just cut this out. So we're just going to screw that into the body. Because, yeah, this opening is too big for that port. So we're we'll, just going to screw this in right here with the port. And then you'll just be able to plug your extension cord in here. All right, there's that. Stick the extension cord in. done that's it so there's your rancher battery install and i know i'm kind of in the dark now but can you see anything in there yeah, you can pretty much see it everything's all cleaned up ready to rock so i think that's going to do it for this video i will catch you guys on the next one